Welcome to lesson number 10. In lesson 10, we will show the proper way to make egg salad, tuna salad, on Shabbos. In many religious homes, there is a time-honored tradition to make egg salad on Shabbos. The symbolism of making egg salad, or otherwise known in Yiddish as ar mitzvibel, eggs with onions, perhaps comes from the fact that the manna, the manna that fell in the desert on, for, for the Jews before Shabbos, that they ate on Shabbos, tasted like everything other than onions. So we want to incorporate into our Shabbos delicacies, even onions and eggs, maybe because Moshe Rabbeinu Moses died on the Shabbos and eggs are associated with mourning. So we take a, a mourning food and eat it by the meal. Whatever it is, many Jewish homes make the egg, iron mitzvah, the egg salad on Shabbos. Some go so far as to make it at the table on Shabbos. We'll discuss why there are potential halachic issues that are involved in making it on Shabbos. As the great rabbis have told us, if this is a tradition that is done in Jewish homes on Shabbos, we are not going to say that it's forbidden. But if this is not your tradition, definitely I would recommend make it before Shabbos. You don't have to take into consideration all of the possible halachic concerns. What are these concerns? As what we're going to do now is make the egg salad, so the tuna salad, in, in, in the way that you would make it without any Shabbos concerns, would make the way that you would make it during the week, and discuss the potential Shabbos issues, and then come back after we finish making it and do it the way that it should be made on Shabbos. The peeling of the eggs is something that is potentially a halachic problem on Shabbos, because as we learned in the previous video, previous lesson, lesson nine, that peeling eggs, vegetables, fruits, shelling nuts, can only be done right before the time that you're going to eat them. So if you're making this on Shabbos, you would have to think about when are you making it? When you peel eggs, you're left with eggshells. Eggshells on Shabbos are muktza. What is muktza? Muktza is, there are categories of things that should not be handled on Shabbos. Something that doesn't serve a function, has no use, is prohibited to be handled on Shabbos. So if you're going to peel your eggs and leave the eggshells on the counter after you finish making them, how are you going to clean it up? So if I was be making this on Shabbos, I would be putting them directly over into the garbage pail as I was, as I would be peeling them. Or we'll see in a moment, you see at the end of the video, another way that you could do it. This is with what the issues are involved with peeling the eggs. So we're peeling our eggs, mashing the eggs. We want to make the eggs into, break them down into smaller pieces. During the week, I'm going to use a potato masher. It'll be do a very good job of making my eggs into the size, into small pieces, the size that I would want to have them on Shabbos. Uh, during what to, uh, the size that I wanted to eat them. On Shabbos, mashing even eggs that don't grow from the ground, which there's no prohibition of token of grinding, but they cannot be mashed with a, an implement that is used for grinding. This is primarily used for grinding potatoes, for mashing potatoes. Therefore, it can't be used on Shabbos. But I'm making this now during the week. We can mash it however we want. Now, we're going to dice the onions. Well, dicing onions during the week, you don't have to think at all about what size you're going to dice them. You can make the pieces of onions as small as you like. On Shabbos, we have to be concerned, as we discussed in the previous video, if you're dicing into very small pieces, it is similar to, or it is, prohibited under the prohibition of token of grinding. You're not allowed to take a kernel of wheat and grind it into small pieces. So taking an onion and dice it into very small pieces is something the Talmud and Shabbos tells us that we shouldn't do. If I'm making this on Friday, I don't have to be concerned with what size I'm going to make the onions. So we'll see later, we make the onions, the pyramids, the egg salad on Shabbos, I'm going to make sure to dice them into 
larger pieces. Now, we're going to add either mayonnaise to the egg salad or oil. There is a prohibition, there's a, something on Shabbos we're not supposed to do, lush, kneading. Kneading is taking flour and water, taking the liquid, which is mixing together with the solid, and then combining it into one mass. If you have your eggs chopped, mashed very finely, if you would add mayonnaise to it, they'd hold together, it, they, it'd hold together into one mass. Think that the last time you were at a kiddush, and the, the caterer served a scoop of egg salad. It stayed together in the form of the soup, of the scoop. So if you would take mayonnaise and mix it together with the egg salad, that would be a, pro a potential problem of lush, of kneading. Same thing, depending on how much oil you add to it, that might be a problem also. I don't add that much oil to my egg salad. So really, there isn't enough that the oil really binds the mixture together. So the way that I'm making it right now, I don't think there would be a problem. When we make the egg salad at the next half segment of the video, we'll see how to do it, even if you're uh, adding mayonnaise. Or right now, we have over here tuna that was prepared before. I'm gonna add some mayonnaise to the tuna. So take some mayonnaise, add it to the to the tuna, mix it together. After this is mixed together, we have something that is held together as one mass. That's a potential problem on Shabbos because this is now use the mayonnaise as the binder to bind this together. Shabbos, we wouldn't have been able to mix it the way that we mixed it. Now, that is another potential issue to take into consideration. If you want to add, you want to add the salt, you want to add some pepper, if you're adding pepper during the week, you could use a pepper grinder. That's not a problem. On Shabbos, we would not be able to use this pepper grinder. In a few moments when we do this, how we do it on Shabbos, We'd show the way to make this on Shabbos. Okay, we have the Iron Mitzvah, the egg salad, the way that we made it, the way we make it during the week. We have the tuna salad that was mixed with the mayonnaise, the way they mix it during the week. Now we're going to show how you should do it if on Shabbos if you didn't make it before Shabbos. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the peeling of the eggs. We said any time anytime you want to peel eggs, vegetables, fruits, or nuts on Shabbos, it has to be done right before the time that you're going to eat them. Some machlasuda before the time that you're going to eat them. So if you're making the Iron Mitzvah, don't make it in the morning when you get up on Shabbos before you go to shul. Rather, after you come home to, from shul and you're setting the table and getting ready for the meal, then you can make the egg salad. So we have also the problem, what do you do with the shells? After you peel the egg, the eggshell is mukta, something that can't be handled on Shabbos. Two ways of doing it. Either peel it directly over a garbage pail. So this way you take it off the egg while it's attached to the egg, it's not mukta. And as you peel it, it goes directly into the garbage, you don't have to deal with it. Or alternatively, if you peel it on the counter, or you peel it on your cutting board. So then, instead of picking it up with your hands, which would be tiltal muktzah, which would be handling the muktzah, what you could do is take the cutting board and use a knife and run the rush to push the egg shells into the garbage pail. That's called tiltal koachiyad. You're not handling the eggshell with your hands, but rather you're pushing it with something else. Tiltal klachiyad is something that you could do also, again, or else do it directly over the garbage pail. So we have the eggs ready to mash them. You can't use a potato masher to mash the eggs on Shabbos. So we said an implement that's 
used specifically for mashing, for tchina, for teichin, for grinding, can't be used. So rather, we're going to mash it with the fork. It's not as easy to do, and you probably are not going to be left with, uh, we're not going to have pieces that are as small, it won't, or it'll take longer to do. But this is the way we do it on Shabbos, not the normal way that it is done during the week with an implement that makes it much easier. We want to add onions. So, as we said, there's a, we're not supposed to do something that's similar to tochen, to grinding. So while, when we made the egg salad during the week, we were able to dice the onion very finely into small pieces. On Shabbos, we're going to have to have the pieces of egg a little bit bigger than they were during the week. And you'll see this will be a, will be a difference in the final product, that the onions are not diced as finely as small as they were during the week. Well, we want to add either oil or mayonnaise to the mixture. As we said in the beginning, the first, when you take a liquid or a binder with small pieces and you put it, use that as an agent to put them into, make them into one mass, that could be prohibited because of, similar to lush, to kneading uh, dough, taking flour and adding water to it and having them combined together to be one mass. So we said that is a potential problem. If you have your egg salad cut into, chopped into larger pieces, that isn't really much of a concern. You could add oil to it and mix it in the same motion, the same way that you would during the week. It's not really becoming one mass. So we have the egg salad, but when you're mixing the tuna fish, and before we start tuna fish, I would not open the tuna fish can on Shabbos. But my Shafayim Tzitzchayim Mavacha suggested that tuna cans, any cans, should be opened before Shabbos. Others disagree. What your practice would be, discuss it with your rabbi, how you should conduct yourself. But I have my tuna fish can open before Shabbos, the tuna is taken out before Shabbos. So I already have the tuna fish in the bowl. If we mash the tuna fish and it's small pieces, if we're gonna add the mayonnaise and mix it together, this would definitely form one mash, mass, where we have our potential problem of lush, needing, taking separate pieces that with a binder and putting it together. So rather than mixing them the way we did with the egg salad like that in a circular, in a continuous circular motion, the way to do that is with a shimi, the unusual manner, the not the usual way. Go with crisscross motion. It's going to take longer. Every time, pick up the fork. So you're going back and forth. Rather than going circular and mixing it well, you're going to go like this. Back and forth, it's going to take longer. It's not going to mix as well. This way, back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, you'll be able to get it mixed well, but it's not being done the normal way. So it's done with a little bit of a shinoi. This way, you don't have that problem of lush, of something that's similar to kneading. We want to add spices. So can you add salt? And in pepper, pepper, the first segment, we add the pepper with a pepper grinder. Now a lot of grind spices on Shabbos. So we'll add pepper. We'll take pepper that was ground before Shabbos. Add it. Mix it in together. Mix it up. Now we've completed. Here is the egg salad that was made before Shabbos. The egg salad was made on Shabbos. Pieces are a little bit bigger. And if you, when you taste it, you'll notice the onions are much larger size. This is the tuna that was made before Shabbos. The tuna that was made on Shabbos. It isn't really much of a noticeable difference unless you'd be adding onions to them then. 
those would, could be diced finely, these would have to be larger, but event these don't really have to look different at the end. Pitea enjoy.